Well, every year thousands of women face domestic abuse, which often leads to homelessness. And to make matters worse, many never get out of it because they have no allies, nowhere to turn. But here in Leon County, that is not the case. In a story you only see on WTXL ABC 27, Tara Evans shows us how the Breon House is here to help. Colette Hernandez knows better than most. When one door closes, another opens. Me and my husband, I was in an abusive relationship and I moved back down here for, you know, support after I got pregnant. For the mother of a four-year-old who's pregnant with twins, making the decision to stay at Breon House was one of the best choices of her life, but it was also one of the hardest. I was raised, you never asked for help, but once, you know, I met the people and realized, you know, they were here to help me and, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting help every once in a while. And Breon House was the place to get it. A Brown House is a self-sufficiency program. It's a hand up, not a hand out, as they say. Executive Director Jackie Malone says Brion House is a transitional housing program for homeless pregnant women over the age of 18 and their children. The residents are provided a safe place to live with food and clothing. It's also an educational program. The women learn parenting skills, how to finish their education, find their own place to live, and get back on their feet. And it was just, it was just a load off my back because you know I'm already I was already dealing with a lot you know being pregnant and having a four-year-old and it was just nice to just have someone just pretty much someone have, have your back. Hernandez gave birth to twin boys Micah and Caden. Now seven months old she says her little family is doing much better and it's all thanks to her time at Breon House. Pretty much I'm back on my feet somewhat you know and Emotionally, I'm doing like a whole lot better from where I started and pretty much it started from this place. And they all say the best part of the program, besides bringing beautiful babies into the world like Micah and his brother Caden, is that the women get their confidence back. Many of the women have come from very negative environments where people were more against them than for them. And our staff are the first ones often who have said, you can do this. And so to see them go from cowardly to bold and from unconfident to most confident is amazing. Malone says so far in 2012, 29 homeless pregnant women and their children received housing. She says 100 percent of the women completing the program move into more permanent housing of their own. Of those, about 90 percent achieve at least 80 percent of their life goals. We have Family after family who, like Colette, will stand up and speak and say, this has made the huge difference in my life. This was a pivotal moment. This changed the course of my life. Hernandez agrees, and she says for anyone finding themselves in a rough spot. At the end of the day, you're, you, you're the most important person in your life, and you have to take care of yourself, and not only yourself if you're pregnant, the child you're carrying. And it pretty much it's nothing wrong. It's not, it doesn't make you weak to ask for help. It actually makes you a stronger person. In Tallahassee, Tara Evans, <laughs> WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you. How cute is he? For more information on the program, just head to our website at WTXL.TV.